Number 10 has in the last few minutes lowered the Union flags flying above Downing Street to half mast. And we're beginning to see the political fallout from this attack, uh, even though we don't yet know its motivation. So Lindsay Hoyle, the Speaker of the House of Commons, has released a statement saying that it will be time to re-examine MPs' security. He went on to say, for now, our thoughts and prayers are with David's family, friends and colleagues, but in the same statement said, in the coming days, we will need to discuss and examine MP security and any measures to be taken, seeming as if the House of Commons, which, of course, Lindsay Hoyle needs, uh, will be taking further steps to guarantee the safety of those 650 members of the House of Commons. Uh, so Lindsay also paid tribute to, uh, to, to Sir David, saying, David was a lovely man, devoted to his family, to Parliament and his South End West constituency. He was well liked by members and the staff alike, and during his almost four decades here, built a reputation for kindness and generosity. And I think that's a sentiment that is widely reflected. Of course, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, formerly a Labour MP before he became Speaker, uh, reflecting uh, really a widely held view on all sides of the House that Sir David Amos was a true gentleman who stood up for what he believed. He had a mind of his own and was really an exemplary member of Parliament.